This is just a quick video giving you an overview of work in progress in a new feature in Moodle 2.6 out in November, allowing you to upload and delete courses using a text or CSV file. I'm going to add two courses, physics and chemistry, to the science category here, which is category number one. And I'm going to add a history course to the humanities category, which is category number two. So the first thing we need to do is to make this text file, which I have here. I've added the short name, the full name, a summary, and for the category, I've put the number that I just mentioned. So one for science and two for history. So then when I've saved that, as the administrator, we need to go down to courses and you'll notice that there's a new link, upload courses. And this is where we can go to upload that text file. So I have it on my desktop and I'm just going to drag it in. And then if we scroll down, there are some other settings here. I'm just going to create the new courses only. For now, I'm then going to click the preview button. And this is checking that it's going to give me the correct name and the correct category. I'm not going to talk about any of these, partly because I don't yet know what they are myself, but we can here set the default values. So I want mine to be in topics format and I don't want any news items showing. So if I set that to zero, when we go and check these courses out, they shouldn't have a news forum at the top and they should be in topics format. So if we now upload the courses and go and take a look. OK, so we've got some ticks. Total courses created three. Let's go and check out the courses now. And in the sciences category, we've now got chemistry and physics. OK, and if we now go and look at the humanities category, we've got the history course. If we click on it to look inside it, you can see that it's in topics and there isn't a news forum because I set that to zero. Now the other thing that we can do is if I scroll down and if I go back into the courses and back into the upload section, we can actually delete courses through the text file as well. And so this time, the only change that I've made, I have added to the file a delete field and zero means don't delete and one means do delete so if we get this right we're going to be able to see that the history course we just uploaded into the humanities category is going to be deleted but the other two are going to be left as they are so if we drag the course delete file in and then if we scroll down and we want to allow deletes. And then when we check the preview, and then if we click to upload our file, so we're not uploading courses, we're just updating courses by uploading this file. What's happened now is two courses have been updated and one course has been deleted. So if we just go back and check the courses, and if we go into the history category or the humanities category, there isn't anything because the history course was deleted. So that's a very quick overview of bulk upload and delete courses in Moodle 2.6.